I'm sure you've already been asked about this, Reese, but obviously Alex being out for the year, just I know that was a relationship. You were very close with him. He went out to San Diego with you guys. Just how tough is that to hear that news? Uh, I mean, obviously that's not what you want to hear. Um, you know, one of your guys, uh, especially that you put in a lot of work with uh, to go down, and um, that's, you know, it's tough. and. Heartbreak. I mean, not like heartbreaking, but it's you know, it's you ache for him, you hurt for him, knowing that you know he wants to be out there with you guys. And um, I mean, um, you know, you just got to be there for him and uh, work with him, and you know, hope for the best for him. How has he kind of reacted? Because obviously he redshirted, and now he's probably gonna have to take a medical redshirt. I mean, that's that's a rough first three years on campus to have. Yeah, to I think uh, he's taking it well uh, for. Uh, for what all has happened, I think today's probably probably been one of the toughest days for him. I mean, obviously watching us all go back out there and work, and um, um, I think he'll do what the rest of his athletes do, and he'll he'll move on and um, keep working and keep getting better each and every day, and just he'll be, come back better than he was before. Ray, what have you seen from the from the freshman in uh, the summer? Uh, we didn't. I, I watched them one, run one day. They didn't look too good. <laughs> uh, that was the first day they ran. But uh, I, you know, I heard they were working real hard. And um, um, I know we got Braden Smith, and he looks like freaking uh, the Rock, uh, the Russian off uh, Rocky, I think four, <laughs> Draga or whatever his name is. He, he, he looks like that guy, and he's only a freshman. So uh, I mean, that's really the one I've only had like major contact with. And, I give them all nicknames, so I really don't know many of their names yet. But, does does uh, he look like a guy that can play quickly, do you think? Uh, Brayden, uh, I didn't really get to watch him practice today because he was with um, the second practice or whatever right. he had. Uh, but from, you know, captain's practices and that kind of thing where, you know, the seniors kind of run it, uh, I got to watch him a little bit. And, uh, you know, it, from those, he looked like uh, he's going to be a really good player. Uh, the news on Nick Marshall that I got here late, but uh, your thoughts on that and uh, how you feel Jeremy Johnson going forward for the first game? I mean, obviously, um, we're behind both of them 100%, and, uh, you know, behind Coach Miles on him, whatever his decision is, and um, you know, looking forward to, you know, just getting, getting to the first game. Uh, whatever 11 on the field we're going to play with, and um, we're going to go out there and try to win football games. How different was it going? What did the coaches let you know? Uh, well, Coach Malzahn told me he was going in here to tell you all that, so um, I don't think anyone knows. So I'm sure y'all tweeted out, and uh, everyone will know here in about four seconds. So <laughs> y'all probably already did tweet it out, so I'm sure they're all figuring it out right now. How different was this first day than like last year? Uh, obviously, I think you know everyone has a lot more confidence going in this year, a lot less uncertainty, and. Um, that's good, and uh, you just got to go out there and you can't be complacent, and you just got to go out there and use the same concepts you used last year and just keep working hard each and every day and uh, getting better each and every day and each and every game. And uh, But I think, obviously, there's a different feel out there knowing that, you know, that we can do it. You know, there wasn't any doubt and there wasn't any uncertainty in our coaches or anything like that. That there might have been out there last year, not that there was, but I mean, everyone believes, I, I guess you could say.